Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Croft Studios, and I'm here with a new set review. And I'm here with a superhero set, Mr. Freeze, Arctic Batman versus Mr. Freeze, Aquaman on ice, you know. And it is 198 pieces, retails for $20, and it is set 76000. So let's take a look at our box. And also, guys, I have something special for this episode when I'm showing this, because it is winter, of course, and the bat the bat vehicle needs to be shown in snow so I will do that for you guys since I live in Michigan so let's take a look at our box here's a look at the front of your box and here's a look at the back of your box in the set we get one instruction manual and you can see here let's go through this it's very thick actually uh, so when you go to the end here you can see a Lego Batman 2 ad a, another ad that has some random Mr. Freeze and stuff and Batman on it. And on the back we have the Screaming Kid as usual. And also in the set we get the little crappy comic book. Uh, you can see it's just a little story thing. I'm not really going to go through this. Uh, you have a little Batman tumbler thing. And it shows some minifigures on the back of this. So let's take a look at our extra pieces. Here's a look at our extra pieces. And you don't really get a ton of them. But they are okay pieces. You know this flat silver circular stud. Another one of these. You get a very nice Batarang. You get two of these in the set. I guess you could count this as an extra piece. And uh, the pieces that you get, I like this one. This is a nice extra piece to get in the set. So I like the extra pieces. They're just okay. So let's take a look at our minifigures. Here's a look at our first minifigure, and this is Arctic Batman, and he is in a white suit, as you can see. And I love this helmet. I just love it. It's probably my favorite part of the set itself. It just looks great. And also, you can see he has very nice torso printing, very nice white cape with the little spikes on the uh, bottom of it. And uh, I wish instead of the eyes being white, they made them black. That would have looked really cool if they did that. Um, and on the back, you can see his cape right here. So let's take a look at him without his cape or helmet. And here is Batman without his cape or helmet. You can see the look of him. He has that band that goes over his eyes as usual. And you can see he has another face for his uh, happy expression, I guess, when he's killing Mr. Freeze. You can see his uh, back printing looks very nice. I like the look of this back printing. Looks very cool. And I think they did a great job on this figure. It's probably my favorite in this set, even though Aquaman is in this set too. It's a debate between this guy and Aquaman. <coughs> so let's take a look at Aquaman. All right, so here is Aquaman, and as you can see, he has an Atlantis staff right here. It looks very nice. You can see his hair is yellow instead of a tannish color. Very nice torso printing, no leg printing of any sort. Uh, his face looks very nice. You can't really see it that well. Looks very cool, though. like the look of that. And on his back printing, you can see he has, uh, it's sort of the same design as Batman's back printing, except with some cool-looking scales and stuff on it. And he has a very nice belt-looking thing on him. Uh, also, he has a double-sided head. Looks very cool. Uh, angry face, I guess. And the other face right here. Um, I really like the look of this minifigure. It's a great minifigure. Um, I don't know who's better here, Batman or Aquaman. Can't really decide. They're both great figures. So let's move on to my least favorite Batman villain of all time. All right, so here's the lamest Batman minifigure ever, which is Mr. Freeze, and he's just the lamest character ever. Um, you can see his angry face right there. I have to admit he is a good figure. No leg printing, but... Uh, I actually think his gun is very nice. I thought it was a little weird at first until I actually built it. Looks like a very cool gun. You can see it's like an ice gun or something. But Mr. Freeze just, I, I really don't like this character at all. Um, but when you take off his helmet, you can see very nice torso printing. I do have to admit, great torso printing. The head is very nice too. You can use that for the white orc probably. And uh, on this uh, back printing, he has a very nice... Uh, looking cords going on his back and stuff. It looks very cool. And here's his helmet right here. You can see that a little bit better. Looks very cool. Um, I do have to admit the figure itself is good, but I just hate this character in Batman. It's just terrible. I hate Mr. Freeze so much. Worst Batman character ever. I don't know. Penguin is a debate, too. Those two are both terrible Batman characters. Um, don't spread any hate mail or anything in the comments. Uh, just because I don't like Mr. Freeze, so no hate comments below. So let's take a look at the set itself. All right, so the first thing you get in this set is a cool little ice structure. I really love the look of this. You get the nice ice pieces here, very nice snow pieces and such. 
looks very cool. And the feature with this is that you can basically press this and the ice breaks out and Aquaman jumps out and attacks. I, uh, the feature's just okay here. Uh, I, I do like that they added the structure in. The pieces for the ice are very nice. I, don't, I think these are pretty rare pieces, so it's definitely a good thing to get in the set. So I really like that. So let's move on to the actual bat mobile. All right, so right here you can see here is the bat vehicle, and it looks very cool. I really like the look of this vehicle. You can see you have these nice sword pieces on the side here. Um, and on the back you have a nice flame. And one of the features is, it's not really much of a feature, but you can press this off and it's a nice little bomb for Mr. Freeze. I'm pretty sure uh, Batman and Aquaman would definitely win this battle here. And another great feature right here is when you press this, a nice little piece pops out. You can see that. Uh, I really like that. Looks very cool. You just press that in there. And of course you can't fit Batman inside of this vehicle. Sit him down and you can put him inside. And close up the vehicle. You can see these do move around a little bit. Uh, they're connected by these hook pieces inside. Um, but you can see the mechanism for this is right here. Uh, you press that and it fires. Very nice looking vehicle. Stickers just look okay. But the vehicle itself is a very nice vehicle. I love the look of it. So let's go on to our rating on this set. Okay, guys, now onto the rating on this set. I actually didn't think I'd like this set that much the first time I got it, but it is a great set. I actually love this set. It's getting a 10 out of 10. It's a great set. It's not as many pieces as the Spider Cycle set, but it's a great set. I really love the Bat Vehicle. The firing disc feature is actually a nice feature. It's different than Flick Missiles. You get these very big pieces on the Bat Vehicle and this very nice ice prison type of thing. And, of course, you do get Mr. Freeze, of course. Um, but he's just an okay minifigure. But he is exclusive. He's good to Batman fans. So I do understand that. And also, Aquaman is the first time it is actually made here. I love this set. It's a great set. So you should pick it up. So look for more LEGO reviews. Rate, comment, and subscribe to my channel.